Today we are meeting in sunny and snowy Tampere. This is Finnish technology company Visuon. So, hello everybody. As you know, my name is Kati Clemens and I am the coordinator of LearnTech Accelerator. Uh, welcome to the new year. Uh, today in our webinar we have uh, someone new, someone interesting uh, and uh, your name is Jarmo Tanskanen, right? Yes, yes. And, and uh, your company's name is? Uh, Visumo Limited. Mm. So we are starting this new series where uh, if you have a learn tech company and you would like to reach our um, network and come to present your products and, and services to to our customers you can also join our webinar um, and uh, Jarmo is brave enough to to be our first let's say outside <laughs> guest and an expert um, and uh, you have something interesting uh, on on visualizing content so can you explain a little on on how did you how how did your company get started and uh, what was what was the story behind that <laughs> yeah okay so uh we were thinking i have been long long history about educational technology i was starting starting developing my my teaching in the beginning of 90s so long time ago but anyway uh, these visual things is the most important things in education nowadays because more and more videos, for example, are doing. Many people are doing those videos for education, for different kind of purposes, for example. But, but, about, but about six years ago, I was starting to investigate what kind of tools we have in the net, mm. in network. What kind of open source software course we can have for building the better educational materials and so that was the starting point for this so many years ago i was starting to make interactive uh, pictures interactive photos and so on how we can build up new things new visual uh, materials for for students and people we are educating for it would be very interesting to see some sort of demonstration a little uh, on, on what your product and service looks like. So mm -hmm. can you show a little bit? Yes, I can show you. Mm. Yeah. Here we can have, uh, we can have the, uh, this kind of uh, uh, environment from the hospital. And there, there's a little, little story behind this. There is a patient coming to the hospital and there she is waiting for, for, for the research. Okay, this is the first time for her and he sees a little bit afraid. How, he can, how she can come to the hospital, she can look at the video, how she will register in with the machine to the investigation research, what is a Keskus Röntgen and so on. Then she will move to the next phase. Here is a 360 photo about the, the preparation room, where is the, this cannulante means that, but injecting some, some stuff into the blood veins and, and what, what, what is happening before the research. You can, you can check this from these FD points. And then afterwards you will move to the uh, research room where it is, the, is this kind of computer tomography uh, equipment and, and this patient is as photographed there. There are lots of different kinds of things you have to know before the research. How to breathe, for example, this hengenus or here it means that how to breathe, what kind of uh, machine it will be from the patient view, viewpoint of view and, and, and so on. This is the, this is the story uh, for the patient when the patient is the first time coming to the hospital and, and she, is, she is afraid of what is going to be happen there. Mm -hmm. This is one presentation we have done for, the, for our customers. Mm. Okay, so, so your customers can be, for example, companies 
but but also schools and uh, universities and yes, our company, our customer targets are mainly companies, but but many kind of organizations from healthcare, for example, and school districts, for example, that we can we can we can we can serve serve them better because our tool is software as a service tool, so it's uh, easily expanded to, to large areas. Okay, so so the content is actually not what you are selling. No, if I get get it correctly. That's right. That's right. Okay, so so uh, what is what is the the software as a service that you sell? Yes, our service uh, we have built we have built a, a web browser based tool for making the 360 virtual reality content. You you just shown shown there that that you can have the 360 photos. You can you can embed extra active points there, uh, and behind those active points there are lots of media elements. There can be questions, there can be questions and uh, exams and so on. Uh, so you can have the educational material. Mm -hmm. And we are targeting to employee familiarization and, and this kind of, for example, safety safety courses and so on. Mm -hmm. and, and this is this is our. Uh, this is our objective in uh, our business. Mm. Okay, so so the, that uh, if you are a teacher, for example, you could be creating this kind of uh, 360 image and putting on some 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 learning points for your students there, basically. Mm. Yeah, that is very possible, and and, and there is a, there are many t teachers who are using our tool for that kind of purposes as well. But so. isn't it difficult for them to do? Uh, it's a uh, it's easy to do because we are we are providing this uh, this easy tool for, for for teachers. Can can you show a little? Yes, we can show it. Yeah, check a little. Check this here. Mm -hmm. For example, here we have a very nice photo about from Pispala, from Tampere city. Uh, sun is shining and so on. You can have you can have this. Uh, active points here you will click them and then you can have the content point here you can select the active point and then you can you can pick the note easily from here for example and then you will choose the note and, and then there it is saved so anything could be there so it could open also some sort of i don't know uh, collaboration tools as well or, yeah. or anything? Now we have mm. uh, connectors, notes, links, images, mm. videos there which are supported. Mm. But there can be any other active point types as well. Do, do you know about this uh, HP5 tools Yes, well? HP5 is one, one, one tool for and, and uh, on our roadmap we we are thinking about that that we will mm. support that as well. So you will be interoperable. Well, but this would be great because I, I think that uh, like w w one of the biggest problems, at least on what what uh, when we have been discussing with um, users in our networks uh, this autumn, we have been doing this needs analysis uh, in schools. The problem is that the the learning technology tools they are just too difficult to use. And I think that maybe in, in virtual reality and visualization, the problem is that there is not enough easy to use tools. Mm. You know, so, so it is too hard to create the content, content. it's too con time consuming mm. for the teacher. Mm. So, so this could be a, a solution. Mm. So, so how how about the virtual reality? Uh, like, like the, uh, the next step somehow. Mm. This is this is actually quite close to virtual reality when I when I look at it. You know, for mm. for me, it's mm. it, it it seems very similar in some ways. That when you put on the glasses, mm. uh, you are also in this kind of space of you know, that's right, three, that's right, three hundred and sixty. Yeah. Now we are targeting to touchscreen devices because mm -hmm. touchscreen devices, smartphones mm -hmm. and tablets, there are everyday use. Yeah. Many people can use these touchscreen devices. Mm -hmm. But but on our roadmap there is a support for VR classes as well. Mm -hmm. When 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 this technology is mature enough. Mm -hmm. So which which VR technology classes are are mainstream. Mm -hmm. When when those are coming, we will be 
prepared for that. Mm. We can do the players for different kind of entry devices and then you, you can use the VR glasses as well. But you have to remember that there will be the interaction also. You have to have mm. enough uh, easy interaction between the image because that is those are interactive images, interactive photos. Of course you can look, look, at, look at around mm. but you have to have clicker as well. How mm. to open mm. the media. Mm. So, so uh, would you say that right now in 2018 the problem is that we have this competing VR classes in the market and we, we still don't know what is going to be like the the mainstream classes? Mm, what, so exactly. What, what, what are the, the competitors at the moment? I think that in educational and, and school level there will be the uh, Google Cardboards. Yeah. There are the, the very very cheap Cardboards. There yeah. are Samsung Gear, they are Oculus Go for example, Oculus Go, yeah. HTC uh, Vive, mm. it's a little bit uh, expensive. Mm. But anyway, this kind of where classes are coming, mm. that that technology is not ready yet. Mm. So we are not targeting to that because we don't know what 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 we are class what we are mm. class are, mm. are winning. Yeah, yeah. I think that for schools, of course, the best would be if if you can bring your own device mm. with you, so you can you can you can take your <laughs> cell phone and yeah, you <laughs> put it there, and you can round the viewport and, and open the screen open the media there. Yeah, and it's cheap. But uh, actually, in, what we found out in, in our needs analysis discussion, which was quite interesting because we, we were targeting um, audiences uh, throughout Europe, not only Northern Europe, but Southern Europe as well. And mm. uh, th there is this this um, dilemma that in, in Northern Europe, we believe in this uh, bring your own device concept mm. a lot. And we, we praise the fact that we can have our own cell phones and the, the kids can play with their own cell phones. Not everybody has to have their tablet or their yes. personal com computer in there ready. But in the Southern Europe, they are actually forbidden to, oh. ta to take into the schools. Mm. So, so they have this problem that they don't have any devices. They don't have working networks even. Mm. And, and, and so, so how, to, how to solve this problem? So, so maybe in, in there they, they somehow feel that, that uh, the, uh, maybe bringing cell phones into um, the, the school environment is distracting for, mm. for the students. Mm. And, and therefore, maybe it would be better to have uh, some sort of external device or this kind of. Mm. Uh, so, so you are uh, you are waiting around a little bit on on to see wh wh which direction it is going to go. Uh, eventually, every place there will be that smart smart screens. Mm -hmm. I mean, smart screens, touch yeah. screens. Yeah, yeah. It cannot. It don't have to be smartphone. It mm. don't have to be virtual reality glasses. Mm. It, if you have a uh, monitors, mm. you you can have the touch touchable screens. Mm. Then you have the interface to the content, and then only your fingers you mm. can use. What about uh, have you seen those augmented uh, reality classes where you don't need a screen anymore? You just open the screen anywhere, and then you just mm. like point like this. Do you yeah. think that those are going to be the way that we interact in the future? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the certain certain applications are already there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But but let's see. I don't know yet. But let's see what will be will be there. How how do you see your innovation or your your niche in this this market? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the market is huge. So mm. we don't we are not afraid about competitors mm. competitions. Mm. And 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 of course, three hundred and sixty photographing is also sold okay? yeah because there yeah. are so many photographers from google street view yeah and and and, and with our tool mm. uh, even the nurses in the hospitals can maintain the content mm. so that con content editor is, is very easy to use yes i think that this this is probably the the like the best benefit for you you that you have such an easy to use system mm. that that and and it is similar enough to you know cre creating a website or or things that that people know already you know how to how to create content in their social media and so on so it mm. it, it, it is somehow close to that so it, it is not a too big of a step for 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 teachers to to start using that so that mm. would be a good good way 
um, uh, okay, uh, I was, I was. The last thing that I was going to ask is that how, how about the European market or or the global market? What, what, what are your plans? Are you supporting any other languages than Finnish, for example? Are you supporting English and? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, in the first phase, we are targeting global. Mm. So we are doing this tool for for every 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 people in in worldwide. So it the first language is English, mm. but we have built that uh, scalable model behind the tool. It will be the cloud service. Mm. Uh, it will be running worldwide, mm. and it is easy to take into use everywhere. So, and, and 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 for the translations, okay, we have on, road, on the roadmap that we have that that we can also make translations easily to to every every languages there there are which are major languages, I think, more or less like that. Yeah, I I, I cannot say anything. I cannot say that we will support all languages. <laughs> yeah. but anyway, anyway, major languages we well. are supporting. I suppose if you have a customer, you will at least adopt. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see in the future. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me uh, and our uh, audience in in um, LearnTech Accelerator community. Um, in this webinar, we are going to take some uh, questions now on on the new Zoom platform. Uh, so we are going to go back to that. Thank you. Thank you.